Are we good? Do it again. No. <laughs> Take two. Take two. All right. Take two. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to the July 2008 meeting of LA Drupal. A little different there. Uh, this is our seventh meeting. I want to get that on video. Uh, of 2008. For those who are new, bathrooms are near the entrance. Water is over next to the bar. All right. Done. Let's get started. Uh, first, I'd like to thank our sponsors of the night. The location is provided by Rich Media Institute. The books and raffle prizes tonight are presented by A Press, the book publishing company. And the printed pamphlets tonight that you guys have are by Extend Us. They're the company who makes the Dreamweaver extensions for Drupal. All right. So we got some global Drupal news that we're going to cover real quick. Download stats for Drupal as it stands. The last 12 months, from July 07 to June of 08, the Drupal core has been downloaded more than 1.4 million times and going higher and higher. And, uh, you know, this isn't people checking out from CVS. This is downloading the, you know, gun zipped file on the website. So we're doing pretty good and we're getting better uh, at uh, usability, installation, community uh, outreach. And communication and the documentation is getting better and better every day so we're looking good the state of Drupal 2008 survey is online you can go to drupal.org you can poke around for survey you should be able to find it but it's actually on uh, uh, Dries can somebody help me with the last name all right the founder of Drupal he has his own blog it's a very good blog actually you probably should bookmark it as well because the other half of the Drupal news comes out on his blog, if not more. A lot of sites that are using Drupal, high profile stuff, that all gets mentioned there usually. Okay. The usability test for Drupal 7, they're going much better. So if any of you went to DrupalCon or saw the video of how the usability <coughs> test went last year, it was fun and funny at the same time. But uh, it showed that we had some work to do. And the community has really stepped up and uh, we're getting better and the usability tests are getting better. So Seven is looking to be the best Drupal ever to date. So that's exciting for when it comes out. The Drupal newsletter, for those who don't get it in your inbox already, the summer edition has just come out. You can go to drupal.org and you can read uh, the newsletter. Pretty cool. LA Drupal would like to congratulate on video Angie Byron for her award from Google for being the best person in the world ever in their, in their Google Summer of Code project. Google hold, uh, every summer Google pays uh, some people and some students to really come down and help out some open source projects that really need uh, some fingers. And Angie Byron has helped it, uh, basically almost every year ever since Drupal got involved. Uh, and ever since she got involved, she's only been just growing more powerful and, the, and more respected in the Drupal community, and she's, uh, she's a great person. So uh, I would like to, I, everybody to actually give a, uh, a round of applause to Angie Byron. All right, cool. Sites that are using Drupal. Now these are where we show a couple big showcase sites that they like to show off that have cool names, big names. Jabber, an open source XML based chat protocol. They use Drupal. Adobe is now using Drupal for flex.org. They used it for their showcase site. It has a flex front end and a Drupal back end. This is not the new news. The whole rest of the site has now been taken over by the Drupal installation that controlled that showcase. Chat so now, huh? Google Chat runs Google Chat's another one? Google the Google Chat, Chat site? Google Chat is from the Jabber. Yes, Google Chat, yes. Oh, for the Jabber site, Jabber is actually the technology that Google picked for their Google Talk, their G Talk. Uh, going back, uh, Adobe using flex.org, this is a site that's visited uh, uh, tens of thousands of times um, by new developers who are interested in the, uh, the really cool technology Flex uh, that a lot of you know that I really uh, you know, promote and use. Another big name, Metallica, for their new site, Metallica is using Drupal. And actually, uh, Crystal Williams, she's not here tonight, but she, uh, she, uh, she may come around the next meeting. She's actually organizing our Drupal camp here in Los Angeles. Uh, Crystal Williams was involved with that project, so uh, that actually came out to be a really neat project. It has a Flash front end and a Drupal back end, and people get to download 
um, music from Metallica and just some cool videos that they only provide to the community. So it's very exciting actually that they're using it too. Femina, or Femina, a woman's magazine, uh, they switched to Drupal. And actually they're owned by the Europe's biggest media and communications company. So this is actually a big company who chose Drupal for uh, their uh, um, uh, women's outreach magazine program. And I'm not sure I really couldn't enjoy the site too much myself because I was busy. I was getting the notes together. Uh, so I didn't really see like what they had on there, but it actually was a very clean design. So if you're a designer interested in looking at cool Drupal sites, uh, Femina or Femina is one that I would actually definitely go check out for Drupal. We have some uh, local news. Uh, Carrie, you wanted to make, you had to mention real quick? You want to talk about the sites and the uh, global Drupal news? The global, what? Ooh. The global Drupal news? Yeah, that's what I got written down. Uh, local Drupal news? Yeah, just, you had something you wanted to mention? Oh, yes. Well, hi, I'm Carrie Gordon. Uh, and as some or many of you know that I'm uh, trying to get our bid for uh, DrupalCon in Los Angeles next spring organized. Uh, and we've been on there, it says Los Angeles uh, 2009 DrupalCon proposal. Uh, I just updated that today with the uh, latest version. And that version is uh, still under preparation and getting ready for submission uh, to uh, the Drupal Association in uh, Saget. And I will present it there uh, next month. So um, I think if, I hope that everyone will look at this. Unfortunately, it's, it, it doesn't, you know, the wiki thing here doesn't really show when people do things or change things, so. Uh, Actually, it does. It, it does? Huh? Logging, it, it does show you when things change. Yeah, on the page, but you know, oh, I don't like think even RSS is there, there or anything like right. that. But anyway, so this is new. Uh, if you have comments, you can make them right there, or there's another thread that goes along with it where you can make the comments. If you make them on the site somewhere, I will find them and uh, res respond to them. This is, um, this is a community effort. This is the community. This is our effort. I, I'm just sort of like channeling it. So uh, if you want to be involved, you can be involved. If you want to uh, take part in the proposal, contribute to that, you can do that. But this is what we have right now. I hope everyone will take a look at it and uh, make their comments. Thank you. What's there, what are some of the things that you need to be Well, at this point, you know, I just need more people to look at the proposal and if they have anything, you know, anything to say about it, say it. People have made comments in the past and uh, there's a couple things here. One thing, this proposal, we're putting forward the Pasadena Convention Center Ballroom, which is a big multi-use room that can be divided up into different areas. It's a, a good location. It's got everything they need. One of the hardest things in putting this proposal together was to find a date that worked with all the restrictions because we have Easter pretty much knocked out two weeks on one side and uh, um, South by Southwest, because it goes across a weekend <clears throat> into two weeks, knocks out another two weeks. So uh, there wasn't a lot, weren't a lot of uh, uh, dates that really worked. So we found one, we've had a fight for it in this location, and uh, hopefully we'll get it. Yeah, it's a brand new building. It'll open in, open in February. It's uh, really very high tech, very, very cool, very expensive. I don't know what, yeah. Thank you. Are the comments actually turned on in the wiki? So can people make a comment or do they have to? Uh, I, don't, I don't know that you, you have, have to comment. Edit. I think you just have to add them and put them in the bottom. But I started a thread. No, they, okay, they can actually be turned on, so they're not. Okay. All right. We'll take care of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, again, okay. to summarize, uh, this is LA Drupal's pretty much official, this is our official proposal uh, to the Drupal Association to try to get the next convention in North America to happen in Los Angeles. So this is a big deal for us. Uh, I, I would really, I mean, I, it's a lot of work. And uh, Carrie's done tons, I mean, pretty much 
all the footwork for this stuff, and uh, it, if we get this, this is going to be great for us, and I know that uh, all of you here uh, will really come out and support us uh, in that event when we need you. Just like the camp this September. So, uh, all right, quickly ask, because we've had some people walk in, does anybody not have a pamphlet that would care about a pamphlet? Okay, I'll get those to you in a little bit. All right. Yes. You actually have this uh, Google address on the pamphlet? Yep. Yeah. Would be great the LA Drupal website? Uh, yeah, we're actually, uh, we're refreshing the site. I have a note on that. But the ladrupal.org, for those who don't know, we actually have our own domain, ladrupal.org. Uh, it's on a Drupal 5 installation, and we're actually in the process of getting uh, local volunteers, members, to actually re uh, kick it up a notch uh, and really refresh it for the camp. Um, to support new members that are coming in, uh, some training information, uh, you know, learning materials, and also for those who have been here um, at, to at least one meeting, if you already don't have your Drupal Association individual member or organizational member badge from donating the Drupal, you better get it, because we're going to really start pumping up the people who do have it. It's a very simple donation, it's like 32 bucks US dollars, for the low one, it's I think 70 or somebody. Organization, 70 pounds. The organization, yeah, 70 pounds. So it's going to be more in US dollars, but. In the Euro, then. Could you? Euro? Yeah, Euros. Yeah, 70 Euros. So I don't know what it comes out to American dollars right now. Uh, about 60. About 300. Dollar 60. Dollar 60. Dollar 60. Or 16 Euro. I'm not going to do the math. Like it's, it's actually, if you have at least one client who's paid you to do a Drupal website, um, and you know deep down that you're like, man, this would have taken me forever, uh, get that badge, okay? We are gonna have a general database of everybody who is an official LA Drupal member, but there will be some cool promotional platforms for the people who are badged, okay? This is a donation to Drupal itself, <coughs> right? So this is something that we all should be doing as Professionals and users who are adopting it. It's very, have a badge now. It's very cheap. Who has a badge now? That's a good question. All right. That's it. By the next uh -oh. meeting, I would like to see at least five hands come up. Where do you get? Wow. The Where do you get the badge? Very good question. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> the Drupal Association website, which is at association.drupal.org, and of course, you go to Drupal's main website, and they have information about donating, and it usually should come back here. Let me, there's a donate and then there's memberships. The donate takes you to the memberships info also. As you see right here, you get a nice green badge for individual members and you get a purple badge for organizational members. Okay? Again, in US dollars it's 35 bucks for the individual. What is it for? 130 US dollars for organization. So if you hire Drupal developers, get that organization badge. I don't, I don't want to see your hand down again next time. That's bad. Don't come and ask for Drupal people if you can get it, come on, it's cheap. I'm not begging you guys, but it's going to be great when we all can flash that we have a badge when we're at camps, when we're at cons, all right? Let's, let's, let's hook up Drupal because the group is going to hook you guys up for hooking up Drupal, all right? I, I think that's all I need to say about it. Um, can we try that Wi-Fi? I'm so excited that I just want to do it while you're Right? Uh, the Wi-Fi should be working for those who remember the problems we had last month. No, it, people say it's working. Yeah, it's not just me. No, it's working. Yeah, it's working. It's working? Yeah. yeah. Try okay, again. I'll, I'll reboot this stupid computer. Try it. Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, so that's the Drupal badges. Any more questions about Drupal badges, association memberships? Are you going to talk about uh, Drupal camp? Yes. Okay. Sorry, we just got a lot of cool news for everybody. Right. So Actually, we're pretty much coming up at the end. Uh, no, uh, some more local news. Mike Stewart. Thank you, Mike. He uploaded the last month's meeting, the whole thing, to Blip TV. So you can go to la Drupal dot Blip TV. Let me do that. LA, just like, just like our uh, IRC. Like LA slash Drupal. IRC. Drupal dash LA. Ah, thank you. I did that because the IRC. Oh, you're cool. All right, Drupal LA dot Blip dot TV. It's our own video channel when it loads. Hold on. Um, but we're uploading our we're uploading our meeting videos, every other little video that we can kind of collect. Uh, members, if you have me, uh, videos that you'd like to donate, 
um, for our sessions, I mean for our uh, little blip TV channel. I'm not going to watch myself watch myself. So. All right. The whole meeting is broken up. Mike, let's give him a round of applause. He did a great job. Recording again.